Hey guys, Joe here doing a one take video because my neck is still really messed up so I can't work on the car today. But I do have some video game stuff that I said I would put up and I just I can't sit hunched over and edit for a long time so I'm going to do this as a one take. My buddy Daniel who I go shooting with, check out that video if you haven't seen some of the shooting videos and I'll also link to the playlist down below, is kind of getting completely away from the video game stuff. He doesn't play much anymore. He does all digital. So when his basement flooded, he was like, hey, do you want all this stuff? And he knows that I have room for it uh, in my place. And he knows that I like to collect and I haven't done any collecting in a long time. So he gave me a couple of boxes of stuff and we're going to go through those as fast as possible. I almost said quickly. I will show you though his mom, uh, who loves me, because I've been helping them out and doing things. Found me the Hulkbuster. I guess Daniel found it for them and she picked it up and got it for me, which is super because now I have all three. I have Hulk busting out of Hulkbuster, Hulkbuster, and Hulkbuster versus Hulk the Diorama. They also got me a Hallmark tree ornament from Infinity War, which is one of the ones I wanted, as well as a Hulkbuster uh, bobblehead keychain, which is really cool. I would use that, but I know it would break in like two seconds. So, let's get into what he gave me. He's a very much Sony, uh, Japanese, uh, Square Enix, NIS, Atlas fan. So a lot of these are in that category. I'm going to go through them quickly. He gave me a few empty cases to go into my steelbook collection, and eventually I want to fill those steelbooks, but we'll cover those in another video. Starting with uh, Kingdom Hearts 1. Sorry, I always get them mixed up. Kingdom Hearts Black Label. Don't know where I'm going to put these. We're going to set them on the floor as we go through them. Final Fantasy X. Now, it's hard to see, but you can see in the reflection how the labels look a little bit damaged. That's because uh, even though they didn't get soaked in water, the moisture in the basement did damage some of these to the point where I'm not going to be able to uh, fix them. Uh, if I can take the paper out, I have a way of flattening them and then I can case swap them. But in a lot of cases, they're just going to be damaged to the point where they're just going to be shelf items. And when there's none left, then they'll be worth something again. Because this is what happens when moisture gets into the cases. And you can see that, uh, yeah, this was a Grandius manual and it completely peeled off and all of this is sitting on top of the disc which I have to use some alcohol to get off. Not all of them are that bad but a couple of them did get wet and that's what happened. Got a red label, best seller label version of Star Ocean till the end of time. Phantom Brace, this one actually made it through with no damage so I'll probably just case swap that. Call of Duty Finest Hour These ones I can't pronounce very well because I've never heard them actually pronounced, so if I butcher them, I apologize. This is uh, Atelier Iris Eternal Mana Atelier. I, I, you know, somebody spell it phonetically down below. Front Mission 4, and this is what I was talking about. You see how those white lines are in the case there? That is the actual case sticking to the plastic. So. I may have to get them wet again just to get them out. Drakengard. There's that Grandia. And the funny thing is, the label itself actually made it through no problem. It was the moisture that got inside the case. Radiata Stories. No idea what that is. Again, these are his preferred uh, style of games. Black Label Final Fantasy X. Final Fantasy X 2. Shen Megami Tensai Digital Devil Saga 2. Shen Megami Tensai Nocturne. Dirge of Cerberus, Final Fantasy VII. Cool looking cover. Oni. 
feels a little heavy, so I'm assuming, yeah. Yeah. This is what I was talking about. The pages are all... This one I may be able to save. I'm going to open up each page. Yeah, we'll be all right. And I'm going to stick some paper towel between each page and hopefully get that one to dry out. I thought it was too heavy. Dawn of Mana, which has the same problem. That's too bad. Mana Kamiya. Yeah, I'll have a stroke trying to pronounce that. You guys can just look at that. Psyops. A black label, Star Ocean, Till the End of Time. No, this one's dry. It just feels heavy. Really quickly, this is what a dry manual should look like and feel like. So that's good. Yay! Call of Duty 2, big red one. Kingdom Hearts 2, bestseller. Fantasy Star Universe. Dead or Alive 2 Hardcore. No, this one's dry too, just a heavy manual. RPG Maker 3. A special edition, Dragon's Quest 7. 8, excuse me, 8 in the box. And the Steelbook. Final Fantasy 12. I used to have this and I got rid of it, or this may have been my copy and I gave it to him. I don't remember, but either way, now I have it. Oh, one loose 3DS game. Not loose, but uh, it's actually factory sealed, selling that form. Next, we're going to move on to some PS3 games. PS3 cases tend to do a little bit better. I think they're better weather sealing uh, because there's an actual lip. So moisture really didn't get in and damage these. Although, let's face it, it's NCAA 13, so who cares if it did. But the rest of these are pretty good titles. You got Disgaea 3. Catherine, which is a cool one. I played the demo, but the game looked fun. Uh, the Adventures of Arland... Atelier Latori. Again, if I try to pronounce them right way, I'll probably have a stroke. Alice, uh, Madness Returns. Thought I watched a video on that. Not sure. I'm going to have to watch one. Uh, the Alchemist of Arland. Atelier Rorona. Rorona. You guys can read it. I feel if somebody walked in while I was trying to pronounce it, they'd think that I was trying to swallow my tongue. Enchanted Arms. Final Fantasy 13. Don't know why all of a sudden I went uh, a little bit hillbilly. Tales of Graces. Last Rebellion. That's a nice, simple title. Why can't they all be easy like that? Uh, Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn, or A Realm Reborn, Final Fantasy XIV, whichever way you prefer to prefer to prefer it. Yeah, I know what I said. Deadly Premonition, the director's cut. This is the one that I think has some extended storyline, enhanced graphics, and updated controls. Never played the original, so I'll take your word for it. Disgaea 4, A Promise Unforgotten. We will go to Disneyland. Or something. No, I, I think I am having a stroke. I'm just going to let you guys read that one for a second there. And then drop it because it's done. It's over. Forget about it. Go back down. There we go. Hi. Medal of Honor, limited edition. Hyperdimension Neptunia. Don't care if my Wi-Fi disconnected. 
Have you ever seen me do that? That's because I'm trying to read something on the screen. Oh, great one to end with. NCAA Football Vault 2011. Just kidding, I got some better ones. A cool Japanese import of Orochi. Orochi, Orochi. Orochi. Deus Ex Human Revolution Augmented Edition. I have this on Steam, I think. I have a couple of different Deus Exes. They were on sale. The original Tomb Raider from 2013, I believe, or 2012. 2012 was when it won all its awards. Uh, it's got the, uh, the case and the book. And I have a steel book for that somewhere, so I'll probably wind up putting that in there. Uh, the Collector's Edition of Final Fantasy XIII 2. Change the future, yo. Uh, Record of Agorist War Zero Limited Edition. So you got some playing card sets. It looks like a tarot card and a regular playing card set, as well as an art book. And then last but not least is a weird one that I've never personally seen myself. I'm sure there's probably a billion of them out there, but I've just never seen it. And that's the Watchmen, the End is Nigh movie and game combo. Didn't know they even made this, but in this pack you get the actual Watchmen movie, uh, the director's cut with the extra features, and you also get a video game. There are no scenes or anything, so I may have to pop this in and see what it is all about. So that's it. That was, that was, that was it. Uh, that was my my pickups. So if you like that, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to get subscribed. So subscribe, hot spy right down there because uh, we're getting close to a thousand. Uh, you can subscribe over there as well. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. Uh, car videos will resume next week. A few things will resume next week. I did say in the last video that the car was video would have to wait till Monday, and now I'm sure it will. So. Other than that, uh, thank you guys for coming along for the ride, and as always, I'll talk to you later.